Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Wednesday, your hump day, April 8th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is a reading that's dated for the 8th of April, it does not mean that it absolutely has to resonate for you at that time. Whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment. Also keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Um, so I am planning on doing happy hour tonight. So 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. If you would like to get in on it, the floor is officially open. If you are unfamiliar, Happy Hour is a moment where I go on YouTube live and Sam, this broke. I don't know why. I, I'm i sorry, this is such a sidebar. But anyway, Sam, one of my neck, my bracelets, it just broke. I don't even know why it broke. I went to go pick it up and it fell on the floor and when I looked at it, it was like this. So, wah, wah. Okay, sorry. Back to the topic at hand. Happy hour. Um, I go live. <laughs> sorry, guys. I go live here on YouTube um, and I do single question readings for you guys um, at a discounted price. Normally, a single question reading is 30 bucks, but um, during happy hour, it's $5 off. So it's $25. So you would need to send payment to paypal.me slash divine conversations, not paypal.com slash divine conversations, but paypal.me slash divine conversations. Yes. Um, and you can send payment that way. Please, please, please make sure to put your question in the notes section of your payment via PayPal so that I have your question ready to go. So when your time comes up, I can just get straight into it and we don't have to worry about you trying to rush to get me the question and all that good stuff. Yes. Um, all of the information to get in on happy hour is or can be found in the description box below. Um, the floor is officially open. Yeah. So if you want to get in on it, then get on the bus. Yes. Okay. Cool. So that's all I have for now. So let's um, let's get into today's energy. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Wednesday, our hump day, April 8th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, kids, three shuffles, and then we will see what we've got. One. For the collective, two, and one more. Ooh. Okay. Three. All right. All right, guys. So, overall, you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. General or or um, what is the word phrase I'm looking for here? Um, overall message. Okay, what are what are we starting with here, Spirit? What do you want to discuss with us today? I am so used to shuffling like this for morning coffee with my eyes closed. Ooh, there's a download. Okay, I am very much used to using my eyes closed when I'm shuffling for morning coffee because I'm used to using the vice versa deck and there are images on both sides. Five of summer. All right, five of cups. Mm. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Woo! Remove yourself from the negative emotions of others. Focus on that which frightens or worry you. Oh, focusing on that which frights or worry you. Okay, well, we have a lot, so we're going to take all of them. Ah, but then you have the Hanged Man, the Eight of Spring, which is the Eight of Wands. I like that. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. And then we have the Three of Pentacles 
and the Three of Cups. Overall energy is the Seven of Wands. So, well, someone... This definitely could be a continuation of yesterday's reading. This glare, man. I'm so sorry, you guys. It's just these cards, that's all. Um, but someone has been dealing with a situation that was quite heartbreaking. Um, or at least it left you in a state of sorrow. Um, I'm hearing trial, okay? So maybe this was a trial for you, um, some sort of court case, or this was just a really trying situation for you. Um, I feel like you were probably in a state of distress, um, stressed out, really sad, really hurt, really burdened, maybe even really confused as to why whatever happened happened for you, okay? But I, I, I again, ooh, 555 five, five on the counter. I feel like this is a past energy. I feel like you're coming out of this energy because you do have the only major arcana that's on the deck right or on the table right now is the card of awakening or, in other words, the hanged man. Um, this says change the way you're looking at the situation embrace your uniqueness a temporary pause in action uh, again i feel like um there's a change in perspective here but i also feel like this pause that this was res that this is referencing is kind of over because i really do feel like you're moving forward here because with this awakening or this change in perspective you have the eight of spring which is the eight of wands and the knight of uh, or the Prince of Autumn, which is also the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so yes, you're might you're you're moving. I, I feel either I, I either feel like the air is clear. Okay, there are no more burdens. There's not nothing is holding you back from this. At least this energy, this Five of Cups energy, this sorrow, this regret, the shame, the guilt, the remorse, or whatever mourning you period you have been in, or energies of mourning you've been in, you may still be feeling them. But you're not, they're not holding you back anymore. They're not keeping you from move or moving forward at this point. But I also, I do want to say that I don't think you're completely over this yet. Even though you're moving forward, I don't feel like you're completely over this yet. But that doesn't mean that you're not holding some pretty strong ass boundaries with this seven of spring or seven of wands here. Be assertive. Don't back down from what you believe courageously stand up for yourself and that actually is resonating with this energy of embrace your uniqueness there could have been a situation uh, there there could have been part of the situation here for you could have been you weren't acceptable to someone else um, or at least you didn't show up in the way that they wanted you to or they expected you to but it's not like you were trying to be deceptive or anything or like combative or trying to go against the grain or trying to ruffle too many feathers you were just being your natural self and that wasn't acceptable for them um but now it's like you look no more of that shit no more of that shit because ultimately this situation three of cups three of pentacles this situation helped you to master yourself a little better i'm not going to say completely because i mean like Mastering ourselves is an eternal journey, okay? Like, that's never going to end, really. Or, I mean, it can't, whatever. It can. It's just, it's just, it's not, we're not trying to get there anytime soon. There's no rush to that. So it's not like you've completely mastered yourself. But in terms of this situation, I do feel like there's a level of mastery involved. I do feel like you've come to uh, a, a, a level within yourself where you can where you have in fact mastered this situation or this particular lesson and you're moving forward um the three of pentacles or in this case the three of autumn represents that self mastery energy the three of cups is a celebration um uh is uh, is is a bit of a union energy but it's um it's an energy of coming back together of potentially finding soul family um i i have been seeing this for the collective i've been seeing this nine or i'm sorry this three of summer or three of cups energy lately as just celebration with the universe the universe congratulating you for overcoming something that was really tough or completing a lesson Okay, this is, I mean, it's, don't get me wrong, this feels good, um, but you still have that five of summer there. So let's, let's look at that. Why do we have this five of cups here? Why is there 
still this sorrow, still this pain, or at least what what can we what can you tell us about this? <sighs> yeah. Okay. One last shuffle. And then we're going to start with the Five of Summer, or the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Summer here? Please, Spirit. What's the deal with this Five of Cups energy? Okay, we have the Knight. Ooh, so far we have the Knight of Wands in reverse. But we do have Justice. Okay, that's good. We also have the Star. <laughs> My, 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 look at that, the star. I was not very happy to see the star yesterday. I mean, I just wasn't in the best mood yesterday. Um, and you know, actually, interestingly enough, I'm actually really glad that the star came out because, with, ooh, but we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. But I'm actually kind of glad that the star has come out because after yesterday's reading where we were talking about all the 11-11, all the apathy and the, it's like, it's like spirits keep saying, well, your wish is fulfillment is coming and healing is happening. And there's, there's this collective energy, or at least there was yesterday. I don't know, you may still be in this energy. I don't seem to be in it so much. However, this morning when I was meditating, I was kind of being approached by my spirit guides and I was literally like, I just don't want to talk right now. I need you guys to leave me alone. They were like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> um, but after going through yesterday's situation and, 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 you know, feeling through that energy of the star, I was thinking about it. And often the star represents, yes, it represents faith for sure. And it represents following that faith, uh, the inner guidance and moving towards something that is, that is your wish fulfillment. Um, and it, all the star also represents healing. But I was getting a different perspective of the star yesterday in which instead of going after that distant star that you know, seems to be removed from you or I just heard inescapable, okay, or also uh, unattainable, or at least it seems unattainable, unattainable from the point of view you're in. Instead of going out, reaching out for that, there is an energy of going within. And it was almost like I was seeing, I was seeing like spirit approaching someone and saying, hey, you know, you, your dream is right over here. And it's, and this person looking back at spirit saying one of two things. One, either um, I don't care, I'm, I'm staying here. Or two, well, what the hell is it doing over there? It, it's not going <laughs> to. And I guess, okay, in, th in talking about it now, that does feel and sound fairly egoic, but the gist of it was instead of going after something that seems so distant from you, so far removed from you, instead saying, you know what? What I have within me right here, right now is absolutely good enough. And I'm not about to wreck my life any longer or create any more turmoil or heartbreak or pain by going after something that is a, that seems to be external from me or it seem or at least seems to be so far removed from me that I don't even know where it is what it is or how long it's even going to take me to get there of course as i'm speaking through all of this this all sounds very egoic but there is a self there is a sense of self preservation here there's a sense of finally or at least approaching, either finally getting to this point or approaching this point of not riding off after something that seems to be so far removed from you. There's a, and, and that's where the justice and actually the healing is coming in. Okay, justice and healing is in the star, right? So it, it, instead of finding that external happiness, which is something that we've been talking about on this channel forever, instead finding some sort of peace or healing or happiness with whatever you have within or at least close to you within your vicinity the things that you have in your life right now and that's perfect because the five of cups traditionally is depicted as someone crying or upset or mourning the, the, the loss or the spillage of three of those five cups. But the thing about the five of cups is that all is not lost. Use that, that person 
tends to still have two more cups that are still standing and quite full right behind them out of their current focus. But here, what I feel like is happening for you guys is, or f at least for us, because I'm definitely part of the collective here, which is blatantly obvious at this point, <laughs> but um, we're not riding after anything anymore. We're trying to find that fulfillment within. We're trying to find that justice within. And that is part of this change in perspective that you have here. That is part of this, this work, this self-mastery that you've been doing here. That is part of this celebration because in, a, in an incognito way, or I guess you could say in a kind of backhanded way, this is exactly what Spirit was trying to get you or us to do all along. find wholeness and fulfillment and completion within instead of chasing after that next star, you know? Wow. That is, f that is pretty fucking deep. <laughs> we do have the two of swords underneath at the bottom of the deck here. Um, and I'm going to be honest with you. This does feel like a bit of stubbornness. This does feel like it's borderline denial, but it's also like you're keeping yourself blindfolded. You're not trying to look for any other external things that are going to distract you, that are going to take you off your path, or that are going to potentially put you back in this heartbreaking situation. Five of Cups here. It's very much an energy of completely cutting out anything that would even resemble the recreation of that cycle. But then there's also a little bit of toxic energy involved in it, not necessarily wanting to see anything like complete 100% denial in some cases, but that's because of sheer emotion. That, and another thing about another element of the Two of Swords is needing to keep a sense of mental clarity. And so, yes, there is a level of denial. There is a level of um, pushing things away, but you right now are trying to keep some sort of mental clarity. Like you're not trying to rock the boat, you're not trying to churn the ocean, because often in other decks, the Two of Swords is depicted as a woman or a figure. It's usually a woman, but traditionally, but a woman or a figure that's blindfolded, holding these two swords. And in some decks, there's she's like sitting on the water or sitting like in the water or something, and it's like it looks like it's a storm happening around her, like the, the water is, is choppy. So that can d depict or delineate needing to find some sense of mental clarity. I feel like you have this sense of mental clarity. Some of you are kind of struggling to keep this sense of mental clarity, which is why you're fighting so hard against any sort of external influences, even spiritual like spirit guide influences. I know for me, I had that moment this morning while I was meditating, like I said, where like I could feel my spirit guides and like my ancestors and I guess my friends kind of coming up behind me, kind of like approaching me, you know, timidly or gently like thinking or kind of saying to themselves, do you think, do you think he'll talk to us? Do you, do you think he's okay? And I was like, no, I don't want to talk. I literally had my back to them. I was like, I don't want to talk. They're like, oh, oh, okay. Awakening. Let's talk about that. Because there is definitely a change in perspective that has happened here. For better or for worse. I feel like it, it is for better. But let's talk about it. Well, shit. There's that Seven of Wands again. Four of Swords. You're really guarding yourself right now. You're really taking some time. To meditate, rest, and heal is what I just heard. You do have the Seven of Wands, but you also have that with the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So I am going to go ahead and say that some of this defensive energy is actually pretty combative. Um, but this also could be why you are in this Seven of Wands energy, why you're you're cordoned off, why, you, why you're even going, I'm hearing you're quarantining yourself. No pun intended, <laughs> but like seriously, it's like you're cordoning yourself off from everybody. You're walling yourself off right now because there is quite an, because there's quite an aggressive energy here between the five of swords and the knight of swords. And I feel like this five of swords energy is something that given the right circumstances coupled with the knight of swords here, you'd be dishing that shit out left and right, like equal opportunity offender here. 
Like no one is exempt. You come, you step to me the wrong way. You say the wrong shit. You look at me the wrong way. Your ass is grass. That kind of situation. <laughs> like I don't give a, I don't give a damn who you are, who you think you are, or who you are to me, or even who you think you are to me. Stay the fuck away. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's look. <laughs> Yikes. All right. Let's look at this Knight of Swords energy here. Um, oh, underneath the deck is strength. Woo! But I'm gonna look, look. I do. I am going to be. I'm gonna be as balanced as I can here. Um, this energy, this energy between the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. This shit ain't cute. It's not fun. It's not. It's destructive. It is very, very destructive energy. But, but you're aware of it. Okay, and so that's why you're like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope, you're not saying anything, you're not doing anything, you're not making any moves, and you're not letting anybody in right now. Even your, uh, speak for myself here, I'm not even letting my spirit guides in right now, because I need, I like, I, <laughs> I need some space, like I need some time to deal with this energy, because if I allow myself to interact or engage right now, it's not going to be good. Okay, but with that, you do have strength at the bottom of the deck. So this is kind of part of the higher and the higher vibrating part of this situation because you're holding your own right now and you're being responsible because you're aware of how volatile you might be or how hurt or upset or just like whatever. And so you're not trying to let that dictate you you're not trying to let that create any sort of nasty situation you're not trying to let you i mean you're taming you're holding that beast steady saying you know you know what you need to stay away because if homie gets away from me it's over for both of us right okay but let's look let's let's look at the knight of swords here the queen of well fucking cups Yeah, because emotions are high. And you know what? Emotions are very high. And I don't feel like you're you're trying to stop that. I actually I actually feel like you're defending this. You are absolutely defending this because you're hurt and you know you're hurt. And I'm gonna be honest with you, if there is someone trying to come in and, and talk to you right now, or if you're connected with someone, maybe in a twin flame way, divine partnership, soulmate, a friend, a family member, if you've been arguing or fighting with someone, if you've been at odds with someone, I think they know that you're hurt. That's something that I'm feeling. I think they know it's best to just stay away from you right now. <laughs> but they're aware, ooh, with the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. But also, you're aware of the fact that you're hurt, and you are, in fact, defending yourself here. You are defending yourself here. Okay? Sorry, guys. Hold on a second. I have to pause. Okay, sorry, guys. Um, I, had to, I had to go potty real quick. But here's the other thing um, that I want to make sure that I mention before we go any further about this Five of Swords. Um, you are kind of a little bit in a... In a, in a, in a defensive, um, volatile energy because of the emotions that you're working on c coming to terms with, okay? Getting getting emotionally balanced, all right? And so there is this seven of wands, four of swords. I just need to be by myself right now and meditate as much as I can because I am not trying to take, like the smallest thing is gonna set me off. But part of this also for you is that you're trying to keep any sort of fuckery, five of swords, tomfoolery, backstabbing, sabotaging, lose-lose energy away from you. I mean, you feel it around you. You may feel it coursing through you, but this is, you're not trying to give in to this five of swords energy. That's why you're so guarded. Let's talk about the Eight of Spring or the Eight of Wands. I mean, the Eight of Wands, I just keep feeling like the energy is, or the space is clear. You are in fact moving forward. So, okay, now this is saying sudden events or changes. Okay, that makes perfect sense. Especially if you're dealing with 
a connection with someone, whether that be a friend or a romantic connection, I feel like there is a sudden change happening here. It's it's almost it's like it's like you finally had enough. I saw awakening in my head. Okay, you're oh you awoken. You woke up to something. Um, you finally had enough, and you're making a big old change here. Let's talk about this. What's the eight of spring, please, spirit? Oh, that's the three of swords with strength at the bottom of the deck. You're making a big change because of heartbreak. Why is the three of swords here, please? It's like you're moving far, far. Six of pentacles in reverse with the six of swords. So you know what? Okay. So this is why this is why this change is being happened is happening is being made hearts were broken five 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 on the counter hearts were broken because the situation was not balanced or reciprocal and so someone decided fuck this shit king of swords six of swords i'm moving out of here I'm moving away i'm done I'm leaving this behind me and i am not even trying to hear anything else from anybody about it i've made my decision two of swords I don't want to hear boo about it. I don't want to hear if, and, or, but. Shoulda, coulda, woulda, blah, blah, blah. No, I don't want to hear any of it. Blah, blah, blah. I can't hear you. Blah, 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 blah. Like literally stick, like sticking your fingers in your ears. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. But see, the person that's doing this, this time, is 100% justified in it. Whereas the person that was doing it before... just gonna leave that there so you're moving on knight of pentacles let's talk about that nine of swords nine of cups <laughs> Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it, it's interesting because, okay, you moving forward is very much bittersweet. Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups. But the only, but the, see, the here's the thing about it: the Nine of Cups is is satisfaction, is wish fulfillment. Okay, so we have both the Star and the Nine of Cups here. That's a good thing. Both are wish fulfillment. But the Nine of Swords is talking about. <sighs> Honestly, the strongest thing I feel for the Nine of Swords is what the hell does the future hold? And the Nine of Swords energy is part of why you are guarding yourself because there's still a bunch of fear or at least an um, um, anxiety. An, uh, uh, okay, I'm hearing focused too much on the future. But see, here's the thing. Here's why. Because the Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. So it's like at this point... Um, Part of what you're probably working on in this Seven of Wands, Four of Swords, like cordoning yourself off, trying to meditate and balance as much as you can, is you trying to balance um, what you have come to know either in this lifetime or throughout this experience. For some of you, this is a culmination of a bunch of other things that have happened in, in, in parallel lifetimes as well that are all kind of like part of this one conglomerate of ick that you're dealing with. Um, but for a lot of us, it's mainly just focused in this lifetime, or at least just this circumstance that you've experienced that you're now moving away from. But your experience, you, you can't, as a human being, you cannot help but experience your perception of the future being colored by the experiences of the past. And part of this fear with the Nine of Swords is like, what happens if I just recreate this situation again? There's even a question here in, within someone's mind of maybe I should just like not speak to anyone ever again. 
I mean, obviously that's a little irrational. You are going to have to speak to some people at some point, but you know what I mean? It's kind of that kind of energy. Like what if I were to just like stay on my own forever and not really try and invest in anything anymore? But that's for fear of having the same situation or the same cycles come up again. That's that's pretty shitty. I don't like that, but Okay. So, but let's let's see. Now, let's talk about this 3 of cups then. Or 3 of summer. Why is the 3 of summer? What are we celebrating, spirit? What are we celebrating, spirit? What are we celebrating? Page of Pentacles. All right, look. And this is... Oh, wow. Okay. And this is also a message for me, too. <laughs> but Spirit knows how upset we are. Spirit knows that we've been through a lot. And Spirit really kind of understands. I, I want to make this very clear because as I'm conveying this message, I'm feeling a lot of warmth within my heart chakra. So Spirit is also giving me this message, too. But... In the direct channel is we totally understand what you're going through. We may not have the emotional perspective that you do, but we see the pain. We I might start crying. We, we see the pain. We see the turmoil. We see the struggle. We also see the work that you're doing. Three of Pentacles or Three of Autumn. And we are congratulating you. Ooh. We are congratulating you, Three of Summer and or Three of Cups, because you have reached a new level. You have leveled up, you have glowed up, you have grown up, you have shown up, you have been doing the GD work. And we're really proud of you because you have, in fact, reached this new level of stability within yourself. So please don't worry about us. If you need to disconnect from us for a while, if you need to not talk to us for a while, if you just need to be on your own energetically for a little bit, say no more. We got you. We'll be here when you get back. We know you need this time. We know you need this space. And quite frankly, you deserve it. Because let me tell you, shit, I don't need to tell you. You've been doing it yourself. with the six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Congratulations. You did this. You did this yourself. And you should be very proud of yourself. You should be very proud of yourself. They're saying there is no animosity. There is no shame. There is no judgment. We respect you. We see you for who you are. And we respect your struggle. And we want to congratulate you. Because you're doing the work. <laughs> Plain and simple, you're doing the work. I want to move to the Golden Universal Tarot here. And I actually, it's so crazy. I want to talk about the Three of Autumn. And as I looked up at the my monitor, oh my god, I saw it was 33 minutes and 13 seconds. 333 three, three, with a one in there, but... That's kind of cool. So I want to get, I want to go to the uni Golden Universal Tarot, get like some more direct channel from Spirit, and I want to see what they have to say about this Three of Pentacles here. There it is again, three three, but four three this time. Last shuffle. All right, so Spirit, what do you want to say about this Three of Pentacles energy? We have the Two of Pentacles with the Sun. Wow. Um, wow, okay, with the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Six of Cups under that. That's not relevant. Okay, um, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Is this spirit saying that you can relax for a minute 
the two of pentacles can very much is definitely an energy of, of finding balance sure um i also kind of see it sometimes as like the loading screen on something um like if you if, i don't know if you're i'm a gamer i play a lot of video games so if you play video games then you know like there's that screen where you you know you're moving to the next stage or whatever and it's loading right that's kind of what i see with the two of pentacles sometimes um, and that's what I'm seeing right now. Spirit's kind of telling you, you're allowed to, re to rest and relax and focus on the more mundane things for a little bit. I mean, it's not like you were never allowed <laughs> to do that. But at the same time, at this moment, currently, you've done enough work right now where it's, it's time to chill for a little bit and just allow yourself to bask in the sunlight. Because I also feel like there are some things that are still being, and that's, yeah, I'm definitely seeing a loading screen here because there are still some things that are being settled into, that are being integrated, assimilated. I mean, you've done a lot of work physically, mentally, emotionally. There's really nothing left for you to do at this moment in time other than just let things settle in. Let things take up the space that they're meant to take up. Let things take up the space that you've been clearing for them. There's really nothing at 555. Five, five. There's really nothing else you can do other than let it take. <laughs> it's like when you get a perm. Am I, am I, is that outdated? <laughs> when you get like a perm or something, or like, I don't know, when you're bleaching your hair or coloring your hair, it's like you've done all the prep work, done all the work to put the stuff in the hair, and now you just got to let it sit for a while and let it take, right? That's good. That's very, very good. Okay. So let's get our Oracle guidance to close out this reading, yeah? Okie dokie. So let's close. Ooh, whoa. You know what? That was, that has never happened before. I've never done that before. That was crazy. <laughs> let's try this again. I'm just going to give it one shuffle and then we'll see. Okay. We're good. Closing message, please, spirit, for this collective reading. Card number 39, Goddess Sekhmet and Fire Agate, Passion of uh, the Lion Heart. Mm -hmm. Look at you, all passionate shit and fiery. But that's also, I mean, I, I'm kind of, it's almost as if you might be really fired up right now. And it, it may not be like an explosive fire. It kind of feels like it's a little bit of a, like a, a smoldering flame where it's just like, it's just i don't i don't know i don't know how to put it into words um but you're fired up about something you're passionate about something you're passionate about getting the fuck up out of here all right well there you go i mean i wouldn't i, I don't blame you i'm not surprised <laughs> we bring you the empowerment of passion of the lion heart through passion you will dedicate yourself with an intensity and discipline that may surprise you Passion is love activated. It is energy that moves from within and empowers you to act in the world in ways you would not otherwise dare to even consider. Passion gives you strength, plugs you into the eternal energy of sacred fire, and generates the ability to accomplish tasks you once may not have believed possible. With great passion, there can be great pain. And I feel like a lot of this passion that's fueling your fire, or a lot of this passion that is this fire, is being fueled by pain in this situation. But with great passion, there can be great pain. The heart that loves wild and open is also the heart that can feel disappointment and doubt most keenly. The empowerment of the lion heart strengthens your heart to recover from any pain through the power of courage, commitment, and bold, loving devotion to what matters most to you. And at this point, I feel like you matter most to you, which is, which is, which has been the goal all along. That was what we talked about yesterday. So there you have it, guys. 
Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys all later on this evening for happy hour. Again, the floor is open. Information can be found to get yourself a reading tonight for the session. Can be found in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.